Captain, what's going on? It appears that one of the turbine blades in the starboard wing has malfunctioned. We're going down. Let's go. Freeze. Dr. Swag is on the case. The problem is, is that the blades are polycrystal. The high centrifugal force and high temperature caused creep in one of the blades, which caused an imbalance in the engine, which caused the whole system to fail. Though the polycrystalline structure will have a much higher yield strength, a single crystalline blade will have a much higher resistance to creep. And creep is the slow deformation of a material due to mechanical stresses, which is accelerated in materials like turbine blades that are subject to high heat and high stress. Now for processing. In order to make a single crystalline blade, we have to cool the material in a temperature gradient and use a crystal selector in order to make sure that only a single crystal forms. The structure and processing mean that the single crystalline blade will have a lower yield strength but a much higher resistance to creep. Well, now I can fix the problem and I'll wave my magic wand to fix it. I'm so glad we saved Captain. Flight 697, this is your captain speaking. We are currently flying over Chile. I hope you enjoy your flight. Did you hear about Chile? They've been having a lot of fires recently. Really? You know what a lot of forest fires mean? Tell me. It means a lot of dust and ash particles in the air. That is interesting. You know what else is interesting? I'm hoping selfies. Selfies. Freeze! One of the blades is broken due to the particulate matter in the air. But dust and ash particles are subject to the 1300 degrees Celsius operating temperatures of the turbine blades. They turn instantly into glass, cutting and corroding the blade. Ceramic coatings are added to the blade in order to cause the dirt to crystallize, making it much more difficult to penetrate the blade. This, <laughs> this is the structure processing and properties triangle. The structure is a single crystalline turbine blade coated in a layer of ceramic material. This ceramic coating is applied after grit blasting the turbine blade with aluminum oxide. This protects the blade by acting like a shell to block dust and prevent corrosion. With the shake of my wand, I will add ceramic coatings to all of our turbine blades and fix this problem we haven't got ourselves into. Alright, flight 697, we are back on course. Yes? Uh, Captain, I think the one of the wings is on fire. Oh my goodness, it is on fire. Oh my gosh! Breeze! One of the turbine blades has gone on fire due to the lack of air tunnels within the blade. See, each blade is manufactured with tiny little air tunnels inside as a cooling system so that the blade can spin faster without getting too hot. If these, these tunnels weren't there, the plane would have to operate at a much lower speed because the turbines would not be able to spin as fast. Looking at our structure processing and properties triangle, we can see the key elements of the air tunnels. Structurally, each turbine blade is manufactured with multiple tunnels through which air can pass. The blades are processed by casting the tunnels into the turbine blades as they're being made. Air cooling tunnels allow for the properties like a higher operating temperature, higher speeds, and higher efficiency. These properties allow for more cargo to be carried and a better fuel efficiency, lowering the price of tickets and helping the environment. I will fix this problem with lack of air tunnels. Dude, it's cool. We got no fires anymore, good, that's good. for sure. Okay. <laughs> Shh. Passengers, the flight has landed. Freeze! Dr. Swag is back. I hope you kids learned an important lesson today. Material science affects everything around us every day. It's through the hard work of 
material scientists like Professor Flora and Scheibel that we, mankind, has advanced technology in fields such as aerospace engineering. That's all folks, thanks for your time today.